Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. And this question comes from Paul Lord, W1IP. And his uh, friend, Lisa, KC1YL, is an avid kiter. Uh, kites, I think, mean just standard old kites you fly from the ground. We have flown my 40 meter NFED half wave off her kites with great success during POTA activations. I would love to see a picture of that because it would have to be an awfully big kite to pick up an NFED half wave, get it all the way off the ground, and then you've got the coax coming off of the thing too. So that's got to be a pretty serious kite. Okay, um, nothing like being near the water with a wire high in the air. The question is about static buildup. Yes, I would have that same question too. You need some way to get that to ground. A few hams have said we should have a bleeder resistor to reduce the static buildup. Do you think this is necessary? You're going to need to do something to reduce the static buildup. We are using a standard Edfen Halfwave 49 to 1 transformer. It's the ARRL kit. Where should it go? Thanks, Paul W1IP and Lisa KC1YL. As it turns out, the antenna, the total antenna, has a DC path through the ballon to the coax. Okay? So. It's coming down to the ground via the coax. What you want down at the ground is a lightning arrestor. And what that lightning arrestor will do is bleed off that static charge. You can get a serious static charge flying a kite. It can zap you pretty good. So uh, you want something that that charge can go into. Now if you're standing on the beach in the sand, where on earth are you going to get a ground? Well, that can be a little bit of a problem. Um, one thing you can do is a counterpoise. That would be uh, like a 60-foot wire, kind of laid out on the sand, maybe toward the beach. If the end of that were in the salt water, that would be uh, icing on the cake. But that counterpoise will help with uh, the release of that charge. The other thing you can do is put a um, choke, like a radio frequency choke or something, uh, across the coax terminals just before they go into the transmitter, and that will short it continuously through there. A resistor will provide a path, okay, but a um, high impedance inductor will also provide a DC path for that static buildup. Static is DC and a direct current and it will uh, provide a path for that to to get out there. If you're ever wondering if that antenna picks up static, hold up the coax before it goes into the radio, touch the end of it, you'll find out. So um, they do. This is how Ben Franklin determined that uh, lightning was electricity. He put up a kite. The kite had string on it. The string got soaked with water. He dangled a key from it. Why he dangled the key, I don't know. But then he would touch that with his hand and he got a little bit of a spark out of that. And that was just from the wind going over the antenna. You can actually have an antenna in a good stiff breeze. And if it's got metal wire on it or metal wound in with the, the rope or string or whatever it is, um, you can actually use that as a generator if you give that electricity somewhere to go. But then you've got to complete a circuit somehow. So there you are. So have fun kiting. Uh, do send me a picture of that. I'd like to see this and see what your setup is all about because this is unique. And if it's by the seashore, it should give you fabulous uh, distances reaching out over the ocean. So until we next meet, 73.